All right, hello everybody. Welcome to another First Impressions review. This is a, another a Vampire Survivors-like game. It looks like it, or it looks like it anyway. I want to go ahead and thank the developer or publisher, whoever it was that gave me a free key to the game. Not that it's that expensive of a game, but we see here, it looks like you start off at a night shift survival, ready or not, midnight, zombies or chickens, okay, fight. Robots. Okay. Elect. Yeah, it definitely looks like a Vampire Survivor Fly game. Looks like a unique, uh... Unique win. Cotton candy increases... Okay, restores energy over time. You get your pickups, you get your choices on what you want to buy with your... With your pickup goblets. Much like Ultimate. But I like the art style here in the game. Looks like a pretty solid game. And that's probably why the game is getting like 93% positive reviews, I think it was. Alright, so yeah, it came out uh, back uh, almost a year ago, back in August of 23. It is just a single player game. Let's see, the developer, is it their first title? Uh, it is their first title, yeah. But it comes in at a price tag of only $1.99. We're going to check this game out, guys. Could it be another Zaxxers any gold? I tend to like these kind of games, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what it's about. So we'll be back to check out Night Shift Survival, and we'll do that right after this. All right, welcome back, everybody. We just started the game, and welcome back welcome back some night 11 30 p.m in the rain i like it oh god oh i can move okay i thought i was watching a trailer haha -ha. okay Eleven thirty PM. The Millennium Park. So twenty minutes later it's eleven fifty, okay? Uh repeatedly tax forward. How do I select it? I don't have a mouse. Hang on. Hang on. I guess it's space, okay. We got our auto attack. What's the ladder? I saw shit glowing over there, but it was just a metal ladder. I like this game how you break boxes and stuff to get through and the lightning is cool. The question is, is there any options? That's what I want to see. Let's turn the volume down just a little bit. Okay. Let's check out the graphic settings as well. There we go. Uh, maybe turn the, the, turn this down a little bit. Okay. Resume. Okay. That's a little bit better. Okay, so I had to hit that thing, okay. Night Shift Survival. I like the name of the game. Alright, now we're gonna get into the real gameplay, I think. Yep. That was just a nice opening. Midnight, the game room. I wanna play games. So it's midnight exactly, and now it's 12.05 a.m.
Oh, they blow up, okay. They're like suicidal. Gotta get the fuck out of there when you kill them. Okay, party balloon forms a spinning balloon shield. More powerful attacks. Flex experience or let's get the fishing rod. I know how nice it is to be able to pick up shit from a greater distance. For my own game that I made, Zaxterion. I made a ship that picks up shit from a greater distance and it's uh, quite powerful. Uh, can protect from an attack. Uh, let's do a swing shot. Let's get another weapon here. Okay. Yeah, I like the art style of this game. Increase the speed. Let's do that one, but let's go ahead and go to our settings here. Let's turn the volume down just a little bit more. Alright, it's still a little bit too loud, I felt like. I like the robots. Quick short so oh god. Okay. The slingshot is definitely handy. Uh better frequency of the shots, yeah. Shoot the slingshots more often. I like it. This is a fun little game. So I got 40 out of 40 health. Barely dodged that one. Oh, I got three robots here. That's not good. 39 health? Oh my god. Increases attack range, better frequency of shots. Uh, let's get an increased attack range. Sure. So I leveled up, I guess, so now I'm 45 health. Okay. I know there's a lot of vampire survivor-like games on Steam, guys, but I actually like this one pretty good. I picked up, picked up something. I don't know what I picked up, but I picked up something. Gifts and prizes. And there's just mobs everywhere. So if they're too far away from me, it looks like they just sit there. Or they just stand there in place. They don't all come in on you. Come in at you, regardless of how far away they are. An interesting programming decision, or game deciding decision. One fifty-five a.m. We need to do a whole night here and see how this game looks. You know, as it. I don't know if we gotta do this until eight a.m. or or what time, but maybe six a.m., maybe seven a.m. I don't know. If I had a guess, I guess till eight. Kind of taking a little bit from the whole Five Nights at Freddy's idea. Uh, let's get this spinning balloon. Defense or whatever. 53 health. Because we're OP and I've played so many Survivor games, Vampire Survivor games, that I'm getting just a little bit. I'm getting pretty good at these things. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know if that's health that we're picking up or what. I don't know what it is. No, oh, I like how you hear the closets open up or rattle or whatever. The metal, we definitely heard the metal taking or whatever. So these things are starting to get more numerous and faster. I can see that already. As it nears 3 a.m. Oh god. There is no dash or anything like that with the space bar. A lot of these games have like a dash that you can use, but this one doesn't seem like you have a dash, and I'm taking some more damage. Okay. Yeah, they're definitely moving faster now. So if I get another if I get another choice to get speed, I'm definitely gonna take a speed up. Movement speed. Yikes. I feel like it's been a long time since we had a choice to pick a, a, a power up, if you would. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a movement speed. Okay, so soda gives you more speed. That makes sense. Oh god. These things are just getting a little bit crazy. This is getting tough. So it starts off easy and then you have this clown after you. Oh my god. Finally we get one. Uh, collect experience points further. Improves. Yeah, we need to get more movement speed. Shit is starting to move real fast here. I like the spooky sounds, the laughing from the clown or whatever, and the this overall horror sounds. I like that, yeah, that laugh, evil laugh is cool. I like all the vending machines, not the vending machines, but all the arcade machines that you have to work around as well. It's not just a big open space. I like that. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna die here soon. These things are getting a little bit... A little bit crazy here. I don't know if I'm gonna survive the first night. Even if I only have to survive until 6 a.m., I'm feeling like... I'm not gonna do it. Unless I can get some more health here. 28. Oh god. 25. Yeah, I'm just crashing through them, taking damage. Because they're everywhere. And they're coming in so fast. I feel like this is a game that you're going to get better at as you play, though. Oh, God. Okay, that. Um. Yeah, more balloons to take more damage. I got 21 health, guys. I need health. It's a fun little game, not gonna lie. It gets pretty difficult pretty quick, I'll say that. 4 a.m., they are definitely trying to kill me. I'm down to 15 health. I'm less, like 20, less than 25% of my health. Somehow I haven't taken any damage in the last minute or so. I need health. Is there a health pickup? Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't... Oh, I got hit by a fireball there. Not good. Seven health. I'm so close to dead. Yeah. Mm. Not gonna make it here. Three health, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna pull this out much longer. 4.35 a.m. Yeah. I love the sound effect when you die and that you fall over. That was really cool. So I got some achievements. Uh, game over. What happened? Get defeated. And this is a roguelike, so, you know, every time you play it, it's going to get, uh... So you got a long night, reach 3 a.m., so we did get that achievement plus one reroll. Unlocked, a bot bag, got hurt, uh, they might hurt too. 
Uh, what happened? Get defeated. So we got we got a get owned achievement. That's awesome. So guys, I uh I like this game. This game's pretty cool. I mean, it's my first impressions. Uh, my first impressions review of the game, and I love that. I love how you see the rain kind of falling down on the screen like that. You can see all your achievements. You get your settings. Uh, we got four out of like. 15 or 20 achievements. It's not bad. Looks like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. So 17 achievements. 4 out of 17. Okay. And then we go to the park. So, Night Shift of uh, Survival Guys seems like one of the better vampire survivor like games on Steam. And, uh. Yeah, I mean, I can see that it's, uh. Definitely underappreciated with only 33 reviews right here, but 93% of those people do like it and I'll be giving this game a positive review as well uh, So net shift survival uh, I like it. I, I like the idea. I love how they changed it up enough from all the other vampire survival -like games Definitely made it their own by putting you in an arcade uh, In the Millennium Park. Uh, I like the mobs that they've created the robots and the chickens and the suicidal chickens if you would uh, I like the names of the power-ups that you get, and uh, I love the sound effects in the game. I think they did a really good job on this game. Dunabula, great job on your first game on Steam, and to offer this game at only $1.99 is a great value as well. So guys, I would have to give this game, based on my first impressions review, I know I haven't played it that long, but this is just a first impressions review. So if I play this game longer and... You know, I find out, hey, it doesn't offer quite the value that I thought because there's not enough content to keep you playing for many hours, then I'll, you know, lower my review or whatever. But right now, guys, this game is going to be just a hair short of uh, a Zaxxer's Indie Gold. I'm going to give this game my first impressions review of a straight out 9 out of 10, which is still exceptional. And uh, it's definitely helped out by the price tag of only $1.99. I think that for a Vampire Star Wars like game, uh, can't go wrong, especially for the price tag of 2 bucks. So uh, there you guys go. Be sure you comment down below. Let me know if this video has inspired you to go out and buy Night Shift Survival. I would love to know. And uh, be sure you give this game a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this content. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Zach29. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.